It is 60 AD, the Romans have conquered Brighton and collect a harsh tribute. When a queen named Boadicea inherits the leadership of Brighton, the Romans are offended that they must deal with a female ruler. They march into town, flog Boadicea, and proclaim the entire kingdom theirs. Boadicea seethes for revenge, and her rebellious exploits made her a revered heroine. We must remove the Romans from the lands of Brighton, lead Boadicea back to the city. You must select a unit before you can give it orders. Move the mouse over Boadicea and left click to select her. Well done. You can be sure you have the right unit by looking at the name of the unit you've selected in the lower right panel. Now you can give Boadicea orders. The actions a selected unit can perform are found in the lower left panel. We can use the Move button to start Bodicea on her way back to her village. Click the Move button. Good job. We know our next destination is above us, but out of our current view. We want to move our view up a little to see that area of the map. You can change your view on the map by moving your mouse to the edge of the screen. This is good. Now we can see our next destination on the other side of some unexplored territory. Unexplored territory is represented by dark areas on the map. Moving units through the dark area explores the map. Select the Move button again. Good. We're getting closer to home. We need to find Brighton on the map. We can make our search easier by zooming out our view. Zoom out by rolling the mouse wheel backwards or press the Page Up key twice. Now we have a better view to search for Brighton. Brighton is above us and a little to the right. So we located Brighton. Our army is waiting to be led into battle. Move Bodicea to the flag outside her village. Use the Move button to direct her again, or you can right-click the flag as a shortcut. Good work. You've successfully guided Bodicea back to her village where she has rejoined her army. Now we must find our hated foe. Scroll to the bottom right to find the Roman camp. Excellent, you found the Roman camp. Now let's take a closer look at their defenses. Move the mouse over anything in the game to view help text. Now move your mouse over the Roman barracks. Notice the help text in the lower left. It says this building is used to produce troops. We'd better destroy it quickly. Excellent, now you know a lot about the Roman position. Let's get our units organized and attack. You can select your whole army at once with a drag box. Hold the mouse near your units, left click, then drag the mouse to create a box around all your troops. Good work. You successfully selected all of your troops. Now send your troops towards the Roman position. If they stop close to an enemy building or unit, they'll attack automatically. So right click to move your troops near the Roman camp. The attack has begun. To attack specific targets, select the attacking unit and right-click on an enemy. If you want a better view of the action, you can zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel forward or pressing the page down key multiple times. As the fight progresses, units and buildings take damage. The green health bar above selected units and buildings shows full strength. As they are hit by the enemy, this bar shrinks and becomes yellow and then red. When the health bar is all gone, the unit... Congratulations! You've leveled the Roman camp, but it won't be long before they return with reinforcements. We'd best be ready. The vile Romans have launched a sneak attack against Brighton. We must go to her aid. Congratulations. You've fended off the evil Romans.